Okay, uh, good morning YouTube. So this is one of the uh, battery packs, non-working battery packs that I've picked up. And this one, after a few minutes in the charger, it flashes the defective light. And just checking uh, voltage here, I don't know if you can see that. that we've got uh, 8.67 volts on the uh, terminals there and if I hit the button nothing and I've tried uh, hooking that up to my lab supply I think I sh I'll show you the clip little clip of that what I need to do is take this apart and so I got this uh, security bit set here the other day let's see what we need bit holder and we need a number 10 security Torx. That's the magic. Put it in the driver and let's see, hopefully you can see this down here. But we've got one and here's another one. Two, three, and those are four screws. There. Now, these Kind of, they usually come apart on one side pretty easy, but they've got little clips down here. And let me go get a screwdriver for those. I'll be back in a second. Okay, here we go. We got the proper tool, and you just need to kind of pop those up. Like you say, there's a couple of clips. Kind of work your way around. And these battery packs are pretty much three pieces. There's the top. There's the battery, and then there's, extra, well, there's the bottom case, and there's these side clips. They just slide right out. They're the same on both sides. Kind of just pop these. They're kind of, there's a little spring tab here that holds them in place. And then, the batteries just are there's little foam pads on the sides here that kind of hold everything in. I think they're, and then there's this little connector on the end that hooks in here with the switch and the lights. Oh, this one's, this one's a little different. I opened up one of these other ones and it was completely separate. So this one, they give you a connector and then some of the wires are soldered on. So anyway, I'll just leave that. You can see inside there's some Samsung 18650s. Let me get a close up here. We got uh, yeah Samsung INR 18650-13Q. And I'll show you a close up of these boards. So here's battery positive and battery negative so we're getting very low voltage there and let's see we'll just go down each cell here this is across the first cell looks like actually that one's good four volts 418 391 yeah so that one's zero that's a zero. Looks like this one has two dead cells. So we've got 391 and then zero essentially and zero and then 391 
and 418 so that the uh, these two cells here the second and third one here appear to be dead although I may try to charge them see if I can individually charge those two cells and make sure they're connected it could be just bad connections so this pack yeah, it seems to have three fully charged cells, and then there's two dead ones. And I guess the battery protection circuit has shut it off. So that's on the one side of... That's like the th three cells, the upper three, and then the lower two cells. And there you can see, so you've got the two... They seem to be similar. This has the two... Uh, these are the FETs that shut off uh, power to the battery pack when it gets too low. And then, uh, yeah, this one looks looks a little bit different. There must be several different models, so I'll try to get some better close-ups here. If you uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and... Uh, any questions, uh, comment section below, and thanks for watching.